What's up everyone, my name is Zach. This is my channel, Ultimate Rebuilds, and I like to build a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for the stuff I build, I just like something and I decide I wanna build it. So a couple months ago, I was thinking, I really want a pontoon boat. I think I could make something pretty cool out of a pontoon boat. So within a couple days of looking, I decided to go look at a pontoon up in Orlando. It was about an hour and a half away from me. I uh, didn't end up buying it, but on the way back, I found this pontoon pretty close by me, and it was a very good deal. I paid $1,400 for it. It came with a trailer, a running motor, and everything was seemed pretty good on it and just needed a good cleanup. So I decided to buy it right then and there. I looked at it for like maybe 10 minutes because a lot of people were looking at it at the time, so I really wanted to buy it before someone else did. So I decided just to go ahead and do it. So I told him I would pay $1,400 for it right now, and he took it. So... That's how I got this whole boat. Uh, I brought it home, I looked it over a little bit more and decided I wanted to pressure wash it, clean it out a little bit. So went ahead, get to work. And I already had a set plan for this build. I knew I wanted to make some kind of party barge. I wanted to have a bar on it and like a couple more seats up in the front for my friends to sit at. I wanted to have at least like 10 people on it. That was the original plan going into it. A lot of stuff changed, like a layout changed during like halfway through it or once I was figuring out like how much room I actually had, because I imagined pontoon boats being a little bit more roomy, but we quickly figured out and I needed to change some stuff up. This pontoon boat is a 20 foot uh, 2004 Sweetwater pontoon boat. It had a 40 horsepower Suzuki motor and it was definitely aftermarket cause, because the original throttle assembly was all Yamaha stuff and this was all Suzuki, it was definitely bolted on. A lot of the gauges didn't work and everything, so I already knew I wanted to get rid of all that. So. I uh, just had to find something I liked and I this was my first boat and I didn't really know what I was doing so a lot of this was learning along the way <laughs> but getting straight into it I tore it all off took everything out and yeah I got to cleaning it up and it was in pretty good shape I would say uh, I could have easily probably just had the seats rewrapped and called it a day maybe made a little bit of money on it but decided I want to do something completely different and my channel is Ultimate Rebuild, so I like to make stuff just fully unique in my style. So I ended up cleaning everything off, and I ended up selling a lot of this stuff. And a lot of people think I didn't really get a good deal on this pontoon boat, but once I tell you how much I sold everything for, I actually made money. So going into it, I actually sold all the seats and stuff when I took them off. I sold that for $300. The Benami top was in really good shape. It just needed a cover for it, and I sold that for 75 bucks gas tank I sold for 25 the motor it was in pretty rough shape I made it very very clear whenever I sold it that it runs but I don't know how long it will run for because it was it was really bad I sold that for $300 the trailer I actually ended up redoing and I thought I was going to keep it but it, I added a lot more weight to the pontoon boat so I wanted a bigger trailer end up finding a, a double axle later on but I redid that trailer and ended up selling it for $1,500 after I put maybe 400 in it we'll say around 400 so all in all i was actually positive after this after buying this 400 dollars and selling everything <laughs> so i made a little bit of money at the beginning uh, i quickly spent it though <laughs> if you yeah i quickly spent it pretty quick starting off uh i do have a lot of sponsors in this video and i'm very grateful to them and they are what made this pontoon what it is now i love every single one of them i would recommend them for anyone uh, I'll list them all right here. The sponsors I had were Pontoon Stuff. They provided all the seats, the flooring, and everything. I'll get more into that later on. Pontoon Wholesalers provided the third pontoon for it. Definitely necessary. I needed that really bad. And it was it works great. I love it so much. Um, uh, Fence for Pontoons was a little sponsor. They sponsored a little bit of it. And uh, Gatorback, they were also a sponsor for the trailer I ended up redoing, and I currently have right now trailers super nice the bunks are great yeah we'll, we'll get into that later on i just want to give you a huge thank you to all the sponsors for this video and helping make this pontoon boat happen and this whole series happen because this is a i really like this series and i really enjoyed making it i hope you guys enjoyed watching it too all right getting into it we're going to start with pontoonstuff.com's everything they provided they provide the seats the flooring the new wood all that kind of stuff uh, we'll start with the seats. This is Pontoon Stuff's Luxury Line seats. They haven't fully released this yet, I don't believe, on their website. You can email them and get some early access. Uh, I got pretty early access. I was one of the first people to actually get it. 
and I got the Luxury Line Gray and White. It was like it was called Luxury Line Gray, and they also have a tan Luxury Line too. I decided to go with gray because I'm not really a huge fan of tan. And these seats are really awesome. I, I love them a lot. These seats are fully high quality, everything you would ever want out of pontoon seats. I, I love them so much. I ended up using, uh, they also have another company called BassProSeats.com. It's like an affiliate to them and I'll use that for the bar seats. They're like little bass boat seat things for around the bar and they look really cool. They match very well. The only thing they don't have is the diamond pattern stitching, but it's the same color and no one even notices. And they work very well. These seats are awesome. Uh, like I said, you can probably email them if you are looking to get new seats and you like these a lot. You can email them, probably get early access to them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to like me telling you that, but <laughs> well, if, if you want to, you can email them. They might be able to hook you up with some. Uh, they are about 15% more than their premium line. If you're trying to price it out, I don't know the price of the premium line right off the top of my head, so just add 15% to it. If you go on their website, you can figure that out. So when they sent me all the seats, that cost around $2,300 for all the front seats and all the bar seats they sent. And I actually ended up buying a couple more uh, bar seats just straight out. So you can add maybe $100 to that, so $2,400 if you want to get all technical. The flooring and the plywood, uh, we all know I did my own custom flooring on this that ended up failing. It was really cool. I'm not going to get into the whole price of what that cost me and how much I I lost during that because you know, it was a, it was a good bit but we're not gonna get into all that because it's not really into the final product so anyway flooring and plywood is thirteen hundred and twenty nine dollars and that's a very good deal having that shipped directly to your house uh, marine plywood is not cheap if you're looking into a pontoon boat and you look that up you know it's not cheap so if your wood is good I would recommend trying to <laughs> keep it good and take care of it because it's not cheap to replace it but I love this flooring a lot the flooring has like this foam insert at the bottom and it makes it so nice to walk on easy to clean up I noticed how easy it was to clean up the first night I took it out because I have a bunch of mosquitoes on my lake and bugs got everywhere and just one little rinse off cleaned it up perfect it was really awesome this flooring is awesome I don't recommend doing carpet on your pontoon boat carpets old school you don't want to you don't want to do that the uh, bit of me top was about $419. The ladder was $249. And there's a couple other stuff. They sent me gauges and a steering wheel and stuff. But, but in total, everything they sent me was about five grand, And that's a pretty good deal. You're not going to really find a better deal for all that stuff at anywhere else. Pontoon stuff has the best deals and the best quality stuff. So if, you, if you're redoing your pontoon boat, start there. Definitely. All right, moving on, railings. Railings can be very expensive if you're gonna replace them. I recommend keeping your railings or trying to reuse them. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep mine because I'm changing my whole layout. My original railings didn't go far enough up and I wanted to have seats in the front, like regular bench seats, not fishing seats. So I had to get new railings anyway. But new railings from fenceforpontoons.com, they cost me $1,800 and free shipping and everything. All the hardware was all included. They're pretty nice, you know. Um, you know, I know it's a big price thing, you know. It's, you're going to have to pay quite a bit for something new. If you can find something local then that will work for you or, like, anything used, uh, you, you can go that route. But if you just want to save the headache, you can go with new and just <laughs> get exactly what you need. They're kind of built to order. They have everything you need for, like, any size pontoon. So if you are looking for a new railing, definitely check them out. Uh, ended up installing that. Everything went great. Uh, yeah, everything looks awesome. Uh, moving on to my custom-built bar. I don't have my receipts. I could not find my receipts. So I don't know exactly how much I spent. I think it's right around $500 for all the wood and the top and the side. I had like a leftover stuff from my old flooring, so I used that for the side. Uh, yeah, the bar came out really nice. Uh, it's definitely one of my biggest features on my pontoon boat. Everyone loves it. Uh, that's where I sit the whole time. I don't even <laughs> really sit in the front unless I'm relaxing by myself or around the fire. Yeah, uh, bar is awesome. <laughs> I don't really want a pontoon boat without a bar on it now. It's just nice to be able to sit with everyone and play board games and play card games and everything. It's, it's a nice little hangout spot. Anyways, getting into it, the wood and hardware and everything costs around $500 for that. Built it all myself, so obviously going to save a little bit of money with that. 
I really wish I saved my, or found could find my receipts because I think it was right around that. But we're just gonna say right around five hundred dollars. You could probably save a little bit of money if you can look around a little bit better. All right, the motor. This is a big, a big topic. Everyone thinks I spent a ton of money on this motor. I actually got a really good deal on this uh, four-stroke. It's a seventy-five horsepower Mercury four-stroke. I think it's a two thousand three, and I paid twenty-five hundred dollars for it as it sat right then. And then I put another $200 into it for paint and the prop I put on it. And I also put graphics on it and I have all that material here and the plot cutter so that didn't cost me any money. But if you wanted to redo your graphics, that would probably cost you like 75 bucks on eBay for a generic Mercury cutout thing. Uh, <laughs> this motor turned out pretty good for a $2,700 motor. Uh, four stroke, 75 horsepower, runs perfect. This motor is awesome. And it actually came with all the controls and uh, wiring harness and everything, which I was really looking for because I didn't really know how to find one that works for, or is compatible for the motors. I didn't know how to hook up a motor. So I just wanted something that would work right away and this worked. So really grateful for the deal I got on that. It was awesome. Uh, everything was pretty easy to install on it too. I had my family help me <laughs> lift it up because it's a big motor. It's it's not <laughs> light by any means. My dad lifted off the old motor by himself and I forgot to record it. Or <laughs> he lifted off while I wasn't recording or something. And we had to have like five people help me lift the new motor on. And yeah, <laughs> it, was a, it was a hassle. Talking about some random stuff to fill in time with this video. Uh, the fire pit, everyone loves the fire pit. I know a lot of people hated it in the beginning when I said I was going to build my own fire pit for it. And I just had this whole vision in my mind of people sitting around in the front with a little campfire right in front of you, like you can put your feet on or something. Uh, I tried looking around for something I could find at Lowe's or Home Depot that would work and I could just bolt it down and nothing was really skinny enough to, for enough leg room. I ended up finding this fire pit layout on Pinterest and I went to their website and they actually stopped selling them a while ago. And that was a bummer because it looked really cool. It was actually really expensive too. I think it's like $800. It's really expensive and I wasn't gonna spend that anyway, but I thought it was really cool. And uh, fast forward like a month or so, I was searching on eBay for a table to put there or something. And this, and the exact same one came up and I made him an offer of $300 and I bought it from him. <laughs> and that's how I got the fire pit. If you guys are looking to buy one, I think the only way you can buy it is used. Uh, yeah, $300 for the fire pit, definitely worth it. This fire pit is awesome. It's a huge feature. It's a definitely uh, an eye catcher. Every time I drive by someone, they're like, oh, is a fire on their boat? It's it's really cool. And it doesn't put out like a whole lot of heat, but it definitely warms up your hands and it doesn't get super hot in Florida anyway, but it's definitely a really cool feature. The underglow I put on the side of my boat was like a hundred bucks. I, put, I had a whole style of blue lights on my boat. So everything is blue, it lights up. Uh, cup lights were like 80 bucks for all the cup lights and it's another cool feature. Uh, a bunch of other random lights, I'm going to say like $100 for like all the other random lights and stuff and hardware. I'm going to say hardware was like another 150 just random store, store bought stuff. Buy all stainless steel if you're doing anything on the boat. Gas tank and the uh, hose for it was around 100 bucks. Uh, I still want to redo my gas tank because it stands out a lot. Someone gave me the idea of using a keg and like a converted keg into a gas tank. And I love that idea. I'm just waiting to find one for a good price. <laughs> I actually really love that idea. I think it's super cool. I am going to do that eventually. Just trying to find the right one. If you or anyone you know builds them, yeah, hit me up. I, I want one. And I want one with a uh, fuel gauge in it because I have a fuel gauge on my cluster and it doesn't work because the gas tank I have is just a, a manual gauge. It's not really anything electric. And then I ended up buying a, another wiring harness because I didn't want to dig through all these wires and try to figure it out. And a wiring harness is only like a hundred bucks. So yeah, if you're going to redo your whole boat, just get a new wiring harness. It saves you a bunch of time. Unless you're keeping your motor and all the other gauges, then yeah, you can keep your original harness, but this boat was dig in, dug into so many times, I don't even know what the wire used to, so. And half of them didn't work. I'm just gonna replace it. Audio system. I tried really hard to find a company to sponsor me for audio systems because I'm very new to the whole audio system world. I never really had a car with a, <laughs> a nice audio system or anything. I didn't really know what I was doing. 
I knew I wanted something nice with a bunch of speakers, a couple speakers in the back, a couple speakers in the front, and I wanted like some subwoofers for a good sound. I don't want to be like obnoxious because I hate being super loud on the lake or anything, but I wanted a good system. I ended up finding this one on eBay for four hundred and fifty dollars. Four hundred and yeah, it was four hundred and fifty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for everything. Came with the amplifier, four speakers, and two subwoofers. It ended up working out pretty well, especially with it fitting in the bar and stuff. Yeah, it was it was pretty nice. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the kit is it made it kind of difficult to hook up. The subwoofers actually have an LED light ring around it, and it didn't come with like pigtails for it or like any kind of wiring diagram to hook them up. So I have no idea how to hook up the LEDs and uh, all these all these speakers had like plug in puts and. I had no way to hook them up because it didn't come with like the female end or the male end to the other side so I ended up having to cut all that off and hardwire it in which was a little bit annoying because I don't like doing any of that I wanted to look pretty pretty neat but you know it still works out all the speakers work great and yeah sound system's awesome I ended up actually replacing the radio it came with like a longer skinnier white radio and I ended up replacing it with the circle radio because it saved more room on my console and it was all Bluetooth. And, yeah. So time for its maiden voyage. I have everything together, everything is ready to go, and it was raining that whole day. I invited a couple friends over to help me out, help me out with the recording, and I didn't want to be out there alone, so. Uh, I invited a few friends over, and it was raining like all day, and I was back on the schedule on posting every Tuesday, so I needed to have this video done that day, so I have time to edit it and have it out by the Tuesday. I think it was a Saturday or Sunday when we went out, it was raining all day. Tomorrow was going to be even worse with raining. I think it was like a tropical storm or something. It was something crazy that was coming in. And it finally cleared up enough at like 5 o'clock. And I was like, you guys just want to send it? And they're like, yeah, let's go. So I ended up taking it out. And it was like sunset when we were taking it out. Uh, backed it up. I had to teach them how to start the boat because none of them have owned a boat or drove a boat or anything. So <laughs> I had to teach them how to do it from the shore and try to get them to drive it back to me and they couldn't figure it out so I kind of jumped on my neighbor's dock and ran out there to them and told them how to start it and they almost ran into the dock. It was <laughs> it was a nightmare happening but it was it all worked out. It was pretty funny and it w worked great. You know, I probably wouldn't ever take it out or take a boat out. I don't want to recommend taking a boat out for your first time at night. <laughs> it's it's pretty scary, but it was all pretty fun and I actually learned a lot that night too. One of the main things I got really dark and the blue lights actually attracted all the bugs. So I really wanted some white lights, especially around the bar shining down on it. Cause I, I stay out there at night, like every time I take the boat out, just cause it, it's so set up for night boating. And I ended up installing LED lights later on, on my bit of me top, shining down on the bar. <laughs> I love it so much. It's, it's very nice. And I, I used a like, car rock lights for it it's like a waterproof rock light and they work great it shines up the whole thing it works awesome another thing i found out about that night is the boat sits pretty low i never my parents owned a pontoon boat back when i was like eight years old or something so i don't really remember how low pontoon boats sit and i was watching a lot of videos and i was like yeah my pontoon boat sits a lot lower i know i added a ton of weight and everyone was saying i added a ton of weight with the bar and stuff and adding seats up front when it's not really this boat wasn't made for seats up front, it was made for like a fishing boat, so I needed something to counteract that extra weight. So that's when I got in contact with Pontoon Wholesalers for their Poly third pontoon kit. It's They make this in-house, it's really awesome. The owner of the company actually has worked with the creator of pontoons. He, he knows his stuff. I, I had a long conversations with him about just pontoon, pontoon boats in general, and he was a super cool guy. Uh, learned a lot from him love talking to him I, I need to talk to him again because I need to catch up with him a little bit because he was really cool to talk to uh, anyways third pontoon came in installed it in less than an hour it wasn't an hour it was like a couple hours by myself installing the rails and everything that holds the pontoon up super easy to install it was very nice and putting it out on the water comparing it to with the third pontoon and without it it was a huge difference if you want more people on your boat or if you add in a lot more weight or if you want to be able to turn faster get up on plane easier you definitely need a third pontoon 
uh, I didn't really ride the boat too much with just two pontoons underneath it. Uh, I was a little sketched out. I didn't invite too many friends on it because I just didn't really want it to sink by any means or just be uncomfortable to ride. But the third pontoon changed all that. I have uh, the most people I've had on the boat right now is 11 people, and I think I could fit a couple more honestly. It was really nice. It's a really nice uh, investment if you are looking to add a third pontoon. You could add, you could buy a third pontoon. The problem with that is you know hire someone to either weld you new mounts or cut them in half because a lot of times you can't find the right size. With pontoon wholesalers, they have all the sizes you would ever need. I think they even sell ones that attach to your motor, and yeah, There's, they have a ton of options. You can contact them, uh, call them, leave it all on the screen right below, and in my description, if you're looking for a third pontoon, yeah, save your save the hassle, go ahead and do this. Third pontoon cost uh, $2,200 for the pontoon itself with all the hardware, which is a pretty good deal. Shipping was $500 and then 79 shipping fee, like with the company and stuff, so like 570 bucks for shipping. If you're in Ohio area, you can go pick it up for free <laughs> if you want to do that. Uh, I do not live in Ohio, so I could not do that. But yeah, for $2,700 or almost $2,800 for a third pontoon, it's still a pretty good deal. It's hard to find even a, a new pontoon for that. So after all that was installed, I thought my pontoon boat was done and then I took it for just a quick ride down to the lake on my trailer and I ended up breaking the hubs on my trailer. Uh, it might be in part to my friends riding on the boat while I go down and it busted the hubs. Either way, I knew the trailer needed to be replaced. It was a single axle trailer. It was probably too small to begin with for this stock pontoon boat. It was, it was pretty wimpy. I don't know why they even sell a single axle for a pontoon boat. Pontoon boats are pretty big. Uh, anyways, I needed another trailer. I ended up looking for a couple weeks. I sold my tra I sold my original trailer for fifteen hundred dollars and was looking for so long. My pontoon was on jack stands for like two weeks, waiting to find a trailer. I was gonna buy one as soon as it popped up on Facebook. Nothing was popping up, nothing at all. So I found this guy who actually makes trailers. He said he made them and made them to your spec or whatever. So I was like, okay, I just need to buy the bullet. It cost me $1,800. I had to put a little bit of money down. He'll build it for me. Uh, like a week later, he was already done with it. I go to pick it up. It's not exactly what I pictured. When I when I was talking to him, he said a lot of it was going to be new, like new wheels, new tires, new... <laughs> it was like a lot of new everything. It was basically going to be like a brand new trailer. That wasn't the case. You can obviously tell it is cut together from an old boat trailer and then the double axles are cut off and welded on. It's a lot of, a lot of just sketchy stuff. You know, if I didn't need a trailer that bad, I would not have bought it. But I needed a trailer really bad. Anyways, brought it home, and then the next day I found a trailer for like five hundred dollars that needed a little bit of work. <laughs> you know, it always happens like that. But I don't regret it. I needed a trailer. I didn't want my pontoon being up on jack stands any longer. So ended up making this trailer look pretty good. I did a full overhaul on it. I cleaned it up a lot. I added fenders around the wheels. I think that changed the look a lot. Painted the whole thing black. I paint all my trailers black because it looks so much more modern, so much more sleek. It looks a lot better. And then Gatorback, I got in contact with them and they sent me their pontoon bunk covers and I decided to go with something really cool. They actually sell these clear bunk covers that you can install LED lights underneath and it lights up the bunks underneath the water and at night it looks really cool it's if you boat at night i definitely recommend it the bunks actually end up costing 494 dollars for the whole set those 18 foot bunk kits uh carpet will cost you close to 200 dollars if you want to re redo all that and carpet doesn't last forever we all know that it's it, it's also a pain to put on this was actually really easy to install now for the lights. These lights are the highest quality on the market, and you know what that means. They're not the cheapest things ever, but they have full warranty backup and everything. It's what they sell on their website. They actually don't make any money selling these lights. They just sell them for this company to go with their bunks. So you can buy other cheaper ones if you want to, or you can buy them and just save the hassle. I don't, I don't, you can do whatever you want. You know, There's no set way of doing it. Just find some waterproof LED lights for underneath the bunks. But these lights cost me $466. So in total, it cost me 
a little under a thousand dollars to do the bunks on this and it sounds like a lot but it's actually really cool and it's definitely one of my favorite features on the trailer and for my whole pontoon rebuild because it looks really cool and <laughs> you can't tell me it doesn't look cool so yeah in total this boat costs sixteen thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars i know i'm probably forgetting something i know i'm forgot probably forgetting some other little things so i'm just gonna go ahead and make it a seventeen thousand dollar total cost for this and yeah that sounds like a lot just right at the back and just just thinking you know seventeen thousand dollars is a lot but for a boat, you know, it's not really that expensive, especially for something that's basically brand new. Everything on this boat has been replaced except for the pontoons, the uh, crossbeams, and the transom. Everything else on this boat has been replaced. And 17 grand doesn't sound that bad, especially thinking that a new pontoon boat's gonna cost you around 40 grand. Especially, and I don't even think that's a tritune, that's just a regular pontoon boat. So 17 grand for this boat. Do you think you would pay it? Would you pay 17? Would you give me 17 grand to take this boat from me? You know, I, I wouldn't take it. Uh, you, someone can offer me 17 grand. I probably wouldn't take it for this boat. I love this boat so much. Now, if you brought up 20 grand to me and said, I'll take it, no questions asked, I would have a hard time not taking that. But I do love this boat a lot. I plan on keeping it for probably forever. I. I love this boat. I love making memories on it. My friends all love it. I love going out on the lake every week, every weekend with it, multiple times a week. I have a ton of lakes around me that I can go and just chill at. I can take it out by myself. It's super easy going. And I don't know what people hate about pontoon boats so much. People think it's like related to like old people or something, but it's just something you can go out and chillax on. A lot of boats you have to like set up in a certain way. Like if you go on a fishing boat, like, or a center console boat, there's not, like, a nice place to sit or anything, and this is all very relaxing. It's a fun time on the boat. You can have drinks, you can chill on the bench, or sit around the fire, or play board games on the, on the bar. It's, <laughs> pontoon boats are nice. I don't know what people have so much hate with them. Pontoon boats are the best boat, I will say it. You can quote me on that. With that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the series. Uh, Rewatching it, I actually rewatched it making this video, and I've grown a lot. The first episodes were pretty cringy. I definitely learned how learned my style and learned how to edit and learned how to record stuff with this whole series, and I'm very grateful for that. This I want to say this boat actually got me to a hundred hundred thousand subscribers. It was definitely one of the biggest biggest things that actually got me there, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm really grateful for everyone following me, following along with this journey, giving me advice teaching me stuff you know I definitely learned a lot and I've never owned a boat before you definitely learn a lot in this little bit of time just how to do stuff what you need I definitely want to do another pontoon boat in the future I a lot of people said I should add another deck to this boat uh, I won't do it to this boat just because I uh, don't really want to a lot of my lakes around me actually have uh, bridges that go over across it so a double deck wouldn't be very good for this since I can't really go underneath the bridges with it. I definitely plan on doing another pontoon boat in the future. I have another layout I really want to try out. It's something more like more relaxed, more kid style. It's like kind of a middle ground between adult. This is more of an adult boat and I want like a more of a kid style boat with like slides and <laughs> diving boards and a bunch of cool stuff to it. So another pontoon boat will happen in the future, but there's other stuff I really want to do now. Uh, I have a couple plans for some cars I really want to build and other stuff. So I hope you guys join me for that. I try to make everything very unique, not really cookie cutter or just stock or anything like that. I really want my own style to everything. And that's why I named my channel Ultimate Rebuilds. It's not because I play Ultimate Frisbee or anything <laughs> and wanting, wanted like some kind of pun with it. <laughs> So in summary, I really want to thank all my sponsors for this video and reaching out to me and me reaching out to them, everyone being so great. Everyone has been really awesome. Recommend any of this any of the people in my videos. I'll link them all in the description, link them all on the screen right here. Yeah, just huge shout out to them. If you are rebuilding a boat, pontoon boat, anything, reach out to them first. They are they are the reason this boat happened. And then also you guys are the reason this boat happened. I couldn't have done without you guys. Without your guys' support, this is definitely my dream to be able to make videos, build stuff, have my own style to everything. It's just, this is a dream come true. I love every minute of it, and I'm glad you guys like it too. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting too sentimental, and it's emotional. <laughs>
All right, guys. Uh, I will catch you in the next episode. I know you guys really wanted this video. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next episode. Um, big stuff is coming. So stay tuned.